Hello, everyone, and welcome to Noonday Prayer. We'll be doing this every day uh, while we're isolated and at home. And it's a way for us to join together and take a little break uh, before you have your lunch, before you have another cup of coffee, and we just do this together. If you have a prayer book, you can find this on page 103 in your prayer book, or you can go to BCP online, that's the Book of Common Prayer online, and just uh, look in the index and find the order of service for noonday. So I'll be doing the efficient part, and uh, you do the people part, and we'll go through this and, and mark this uh, middle of our day. Oh, God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing on with Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn, and am determined, to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I've applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. And then we always end these psalms with the Gloria, and that's on the bottom of page 105 in the prayer book. And we'll say this together. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we'll always do the short passages of uh, Scripture. And today, I want to uh, do on 106 at the top of the page. This is from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And just a brief word, I love this passage because it's reminding us that we are always something new. What Christ has done in our hearts and our souls and our mind is to make us something new. And it's good to remember that uh, in the beginning of the day when things can be kind of crazy. You're not sure where the day has been that's gone before you, and you're not sure where it's going to go after you. But know that you're always something new in Christ. So let's claim that. And then we'll uh, go to the mid middle of the page, and I'll begin the prayers. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let's join together in the words our Savior Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And during the daily office, it always ends without that last part. So um, know that I didn't forget it. Okay? We'll continue at the top of page 107. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then I'll do the third prayer. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, 
we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And then the last prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. And this, uh, the Italicized words in there say uh, free intercessions may be offered. Um, I know we all have prayers and concerns in our hearts. Uh, we pray for our family members um, that we're separate from, that we can't see right now. Uh, but we can speak with them. We offer prayers for them. We offer prayers for those uh, who may be sick at this point in time, who may be struggling. For those who do not have family with them, we offer our prayers for them, and we pray for, uh, for just healing in and through our world. As you think about people who are alone, um, and we lift them up in prayer, uh, let's also uh, take the actions that we can. We can pick up the phone and call folks that we know are alone. We can send them an email. We can write them a letter. Um, I've been thinking about letter writing, which I try to do when I have time, but I've got time now. And I'm going to be writing some letters to folks I haven't seen or talked to or heard from in a while. And there's nothing like the joy of going to your mailbox and finding a letter from an old friend. So that's another way you can pray and lift folks up in that. And we've come to the end of this uh, time together. Let us bless the Lord. And the people of God say, thanks be to God. Blessings, y'all. Let's keep in touch through our prayers. Let's keep in touch through whatever communications uh, are the best way for you to reach out. Phone calls, emails, text, letters. As I said earlier, let's keep our social distance, but never, ever uh, forget our spiritual connections. And let's connect and be connected. Blessings, grace, and peace to you all. Until we meet again. Bye.